Underneath the bridge, the top has sprung a leak, and the animals a trap. They've all become my pets, and I'm living on the grass, and the drippings from my ceiling. It's okay to fish. Cause they don't have any feelings If something in the way Ooh, If something in the way Yeah Ooh, If something in the way There's something in the way, yeah. Ooh. Okay, so that's kind of how I feel about the industry as of late. It's sad. It's very hard to make a profit. It's very hard to make a product. It's very hard to get people involved and do stuff. I know that I had Cartier Modworks for a while, and you know. I, I didn't exactly go bankrupt, but it was a lot of work for not very much. Um, and of course, this hobby was not really born off of making money. It was born more off of um, modding and a sport and to be informative. And I'm all, I'm all for that too, actually. I, I don't fight um, I don't fight modders who go on their own and do stuff. But this here is all I have left of turf springs. But as you can see, it's quite a lot of turf springs. Um, this is all the springs, and others were put in blasters, about 20 or so, that I've gotten from Turf Springs since day one. It's a 14 coil, uh, 16K right here. And this is a 5K recon. Tons of springs that, you know, being a friend, helping him out for uh, promoting turf springs for using them for helping them come up with formulas plating this and that um i've gotten i mean you've probably seen videos where i've gotten his springs well the last load he gave me he gave me about 30 springs at the very end and i have been very very depressed because it's not just that turf springs went out of business it's that it is really that hard to make a product and to make money um, and, and to do stuff. And I agree it's not all about money. But I also agree that, you know, there has to be some kind of happy medium between the uh, the customers and the people making this stuff. Does that mean raise prices? No. I'm working on kind of an idea right now. This is the last 20, one of the 20 kilogram springs right here. And... Um, Working on something right now where I'm trying to raise the awareness of Nerf modding to the world. I can't really tell you much about it, but I'm working on it. This is a 16 kilogram turf springs. It's uh, 12 coils total. Is it 12 total? I think it's 12 total. Yeah, 12 coils total. Ground ends. Now, if you plug this into your spring database, the spring calculator, and put in mind that doesn't compensate for the fact that this is Aussie steel that's harder it is actually I think these are probably the best springs ever made and I can say that even now if you run into a spring calc you bring this all the way to full compression it will be 47 foot pounds of force 47 foot pounds of force is around 20 kilograms 21 kilograms actually so if you think about it, a 16K at full throw is actually 21 kilograms. This is why this is one of the nicer springs to have. And I own, oh, I'd say about 10 of these springs. About 10. Okay? The 16, I think, is the, the greatest. Po <coughs> Excuse me. Possibly ever made. Now, to top that... They had taken one more active coil out. And now we have the 18K. That really feels like a very fast action spring. 
I throw that into a long shot or bird of prey. That's that's going to be Nazi. Possibly one of the best springs made is the 16 and the 18. Uh, just epic, you know. That is a, a nine kilogram stampy right there. I like this coiled with the 16 actually. It it has the power delivery, but it doesn't have the center spring doesn't have so much pre-compression at the end. And it's fairly powerful, fairly powerful. Um, got a few of the new nine kilogram turf springs, and no, these are not for sale by the way. These are collector's items. These are in memory of Nerf Turf, in memory of Mike, in memory of his company. Um, Paige and all that want to do something with it. I hope they do. Maybe make a Turf USA. I think that would be bitching, okay? But, you know, I have to say, he was a guy who helped out his friends. He was generous, and he was good. Okay, here's the 8K right here. What I usually did, um, my long shot up there, yeah, by Zeus, actually is this spring... And where's the other one? Hold on. Actually, is this spring and this spring? Arr! Not being my friend. I dual, dual coiled it. What I like about the turf spring so much is that you have good, powerful springs for outer springs. And then you got that 10 kilogram inner coil. Which is good for your medium power blasters. Something you want something that's a little less than 14, but yet fires really nice. A 10 will do it. And then you have a um, an 8, or you have a 16. I mean that's that's freaking crazy. And if you know that the, that the 16 is already 21 kilograms. This is like 30 something kilograms here, 32 kilograms. Um, I measured it once, it was 34, all the way down. It was quite impressive. Of course, I don't need that kind of power for my long shot. I'm not trying to break 300. I, I think that 300 is when things get a little unstable. But look at this, guys. All these springs, all these beautiful, beautiful springs. I mean, I really want to thank Mike for giving me these. And he did so, I, I think, knowing that, okay, maybe he's not going to make it this month. There's a 12.8 right there. I already put one of these in my Mauser fire, and oh, does it fire? Great. And then the new 8K. Uh, 8K is really nice for the RET, for an open breech RET, because it's a little thinner in coils, so it works in your normal Nerf Blasters, no problem. You don't have to be like an ace modder to make it work. And I got to say, really nice. So, I'm hoping that these springs, in one shape, fashion, or another, maybe Paige will restart the company. I hope he does. Or somebody restarts the company, gets things going, gives Mike a break for a while. I really hope that they come back, because these are my favorite springs. I don't think they ever made better springs, in my opinion. And I am such a huge proponent of springs spring plants, um, efficient plunger tube design rather than just throwing a bunch of air volume at it, okay? So, sorry about the sad music, but I've been sulking. It's sad. And and the problem is, is it, it's, it, it's going to continue until the ratio of the amount of product for the right price and the right amount of customer base is reached. And I just don't think that Nerf has made that point yet. I don't think it's quite there. But I'm working on something. I'm working on something. Not, uh, not a manufacturer. More a promotion. So you say. Can't really say much more than that. But at any rate, this is Chris Cartea saying, don't you go changing. And if you're really depressed, and you want to be more depressed... You listen to Something in the Way by Nirvana, 800% slower. <laughs> Take care. I'm kind of sorry I did now. <laughs>